This is Mark, the other chopstick guy. So tonight I'm out on location, found these beautiful rocks that we put our friend Michaela up in there in this beautiful bright red dress. And we're shooting her tonight with the Interfit S1 Lite. You can see it up there. I've got a large soft box on it. It's a 43 inch soft box. So I'm gonna show you three different ways that we can shoot this scene. None of, none of them are wrong. They're just three different ways to shoot it. I have a preference of how I like to shoot it. So let's kind of take it one step at a time. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna shut off my trigger so that I'm not firing the lights at this point. So this particular lens, this 85 millimeter lens, I can go down to a 1.4. We're gonna stick it down to 1.4. And in order to meter this scene correctly, I'm gonna be shooting it now at a 16 hundredth of a second. So we've got very shallow depth of field. We've got everything looking great in there. We've got great light falling on her. The clouds are starting to cover the sun up. But what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I am going to now shoot it how we normally shoot flashes. So we're normally limited to the sync speed of our flash. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. So my hear the beep that I know my light's on. I know that I metered this a few minutes ago. I need to be in F10. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna move my camera down to F10 at a, let's, oh, we need to be at my sync speed. So I'm gonna be at a 200th of a second. On this particular camera, I can't shoot over a 200th of a second. So let's see how this looks. All right. Right there at F10, this looks very dramatic, but it looks very flashed. It still looks really cool. We've got great blue in the sky up there. We see lots of detail. The problem is at F10, everything behind her is in sharp focus because we're at that wider aperture. So what I'm gonna go ahead now is I am gonna go ahead and run my camera down back to 1.4 and I'm gonna run my shutter speed all the way up to a four thousandth of a second to see what happens here if you heard the camera or the the light it beeped as soon as i went over my sync speed because these lights are so smart they know through the trigger that i just went over my sync speed so it set the light into high speed sync so now we're in the high speed sync mode it tells me that on the on the camera up top and we fire that you can clearly see that this picture, this is my preference because I've got a dark blue sky, I've got everything with a very, very good uh, exposure, but everything behind her is kind of that nice bokeh. It's not in focus and sharp. It really draws your attention right to the subject. So again, those are three ways to shoot the same photo with and without flash in the same location. This is Mark, your other chopstick guy. Yeah.